Hi guys and welcome along to my YouTube video. Today I'm going to show you how to debrand your Samsung Galaxy Tab and also root it. Um, if your Tab is already debranded um, like ours, then only you'll be rooting it instead of debranding it. But for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you how to debrand it anyway. The first thing you want to do is go to sammobile.com and if you're not already registered quickly register here it's um, free to register and if you're not registered then you won't be able to um, download anything from the from the site okay I'm already registered so there's no need to show you how to do that I'm pretty sure you all manage to do that yourself once registered up here click on the firmware tab then click on the firmware and files tab once you've done that scroll down until you see this box here type choose your your type of um, device so this time we're going to select tablet operating system select android model now choose the model of your tab. Now this has got to be correct because there is um, two or three different um, types of tab out there. Um, this one is a P5110. This one right here. And finally the country. Select the country that you're in. We're in the United Kingdom. So I'm going to select BTU which is... Um, the stock version for the UK. Once you've done that just click send. Up here on the screen and um, you can see at this moment in time there is two firmwares available for the tablet and the top one is the latest one which was released in November 2012. So what you want to do is click download and then regular download unless you're a, a member of Hotfile and you can click the high speed download. Right, while you're waiting on um, your firmware to download from Sam Mobile, what you can do if you want to root it is swing by XDA developers. I'll put a link in the video description just below. Um, for you to get into this page it will save you having to search for it once you click on this page here um, Chainfire just gives you all the information um, regarding the the route and it also gives you a, a quick description on how to download and flash the, the modified kernel which is your route the one um, I'm going to choose is this one right here and that's the kernel um, that I'm going to flash that suits my um, Galaxy Tab. Okay, now there's three to choose from, I'm going to choose the, the P51101. So just click um, download on that and away you go. Once you've downloaded um, your firmware and your kernel, um, what to do is pop it into a little folder um, on your computer somewhere, somewhere that you know that you'll be able to navigate to it quickly and easily um, to flash. Here I've just called the folder tab 10.1. Now in here um, I have the, the root kernel which I've unzipped and it's up here now and I also have the firmware um, here it came down as a RAR file and again I've unzipped it um, if you don't have either WinRAR or 7-zip um, I'd advise you to download that just google that you'll find it and um, unzip the, the files because if you try and flash the zip files it just simply won't flash the, the files have got to be um, ending in tar. Once you've um, 
downloaded um, your your new firmware if you're taking it off your carrier's um, branding open up um, Odin now that should come down with the file if not you'll be able to download Odin um, from some firmware separately and what you're going to do in here is click the PDA box and navigate to where you've downloaded the firmware um, to your PC and put it in the folder and highlight the, the file there and click open. Now you'll see the the firmware in the PDA field there. Um, nothing else should be checked at this moment and what we'll do now is we will connect the the tab to the PC in download mode. Now to get it into download mode we have to adjust the camera angle here slightly. Right, to get it into download mode, first of all, what you'll have to do is power the device off. So just power it off as normal. And then that will, that will shut down. Let me just take a second or two. Right. Once it goes totally black, it's powered down. Next, what you want to do is press the volume down button and the power button. And hold the two at the same time. You'll be blessed with this message here. Warning, a custom operating system can cause crucial problems, or critical problems and all that pish. Just accept it by clicking volume up. Now that's your um, tablet into download mode. So what you can do now is connect your USB lead into the tablet. Once you've done that, you'll see there that um, Odin is in download mode and it's connected here. Okay, so have your tablet connected to your PC. Once you're happy with that, just click start and the flashing process will slowly begin. It may take a second or two um, for it to kick in, so don't panic. Well, there we go. That's it kicked in there now. So there's no point sitting watching this um, because this will take a, a few minutes to do. So what I'll do is um, I'll cut here. And you can see once it's downloading up here, you also get the, the blue bar at the bottom of the screen there. That will pro progressively move up. So what we'll do is we'll pause here and come back once it's dumped the firmware onto the tablet. Right, as you can see there, um, the process is almost flashed. It'll go reset in blue and then it'll finally say pass in green. Now your device will um, hang like this for a little bit and then it will eventually boot back up. Okay, so again, once it's done that, just let it do its thing and allow it to load up the firmware. Right guys, uh, move back down here, sorry. Now that's our um, tablet now flashed um, with the stock firmware. What it's best to do as well is to do a factory data reset once you've done this and that will ensure that the, that the tablet is now um, debranded and it's running on um, the stock Samsung. Samsung firmware. Now if you want to root the device what you'll need to do is flash the root kernel. Now we've already downloaded it. Okay so if we go back up here sorry. We've already downloaded it. So what you can do while you're going to set up Odin again is just power your device off. So I'm just powering this off, um, off camera. And that's the tablet now powered off. 
what you want to do now is reset the fields. The tablet's still plugged into the PC. Again, click on PDA, and this time select the um, the root file that we're going to flash. So, locate the the file, and here it's here. It's already unzipped. Always make sure that it ends in um, .tar. Okay. Right guys, I've unplugged the lead now. So what to do is power the device off and then um, go into the download mode again. I had to quickly cut there um, because there was a bit of a commotion down the stairs. Okay, this will just take a second or two to power off. I'm doing this off camera. That's it powered off. Right. Download mode again, volume down, power, both at the same time, and you'll get this. Volume up, just to accept it. Then, put the tablet, and the lead into the tablet, connect it to the PC. Com port turns yellow, we've already got the, the tar file in there, and click start. Now this will be a quick flash. Let you see that there, and that's it done as quickly and as simply as that. Now, once the tablet boots back up, the tablet will now be rooted. Now, the benefit of rooting the tablet um, will allow you to put um, custom ROMs on it if you want to go down that route, and also um, some applications from. The market or anywhere else where you get your apps from some um, require root access to work so there you go um, that's how you root your um, your tablet now to unroot it and um, what you'll have to do is flash it again with a with a stock rom um, from Samsung, the same ROM that we flashed it to debrand it, and once you've done that, um, do a factory data reset that will clean it out. Now, also, what I should actually mention um, once you've um, once you've uh, rooted the device, the the ROM counter on it will start to to move up. What you can do is go into um, sorry I'm just setting this thing back up I'll let you see what I'm doing here just to let you see that it's rooted what you can do is go into the market and um, download um, try is it triangle away I can't remember yep triangle away Download this little gadget here. Um, I've already, I've already got it, but you have, you'll have to um, pay for it, and um, flash that. What that does is it resets the, it resets your flash counter on your. Um, sorry for the light there. It resets your flash counter on your device, so that. When you put it into download mode, it will tell you how many times. You can actually just see it there. Um, current status, counter 1. Once we reset that, um, that's that counter will go back to 0. And you can see there, counter 0. Okay. Triangle away. I mean, it'll cost you, well, I'm sure it's a, a pound or two, you know. I mean it's absolutely nothing um, and it's well worth having so that's how you root and debrand your galaxy tablet thanks for watching cheers guys bye